Hello, I'm Artibo. Nice to meet you, Artibo. What's the schedule, Atibo? You have an appointment with friends at 8 p.m. tonight. Thank you, Atibo. Hola. Hola. Good job. Dad, I'm studying with Atibo. Oh, really? Wow, that's awesome. Good job, son. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there lived a miller who had three sons. When the man died, he left the mill to his home. Artibo is more than just a robot. It's a well-informed friend, an assistant that helps with daily life, and a cute pet to play with. Artibo is a multifunctional robot and is built in accordance with Cubroid's robotics know-how at a price that makes it accessible to everyone. Cubroid wants everyone to experience easy living. With our robot's help, you can experience a more enjoyable and convenient life. Your own robot, Artibo, by Cubroid. What do bats eat? Most bats eat fruits and seeds, and some eat little insects. Why is the sky blue? When white light from the sun passes through our atmosphere, the blue and violet wavelengths are scattered, making the sky appear blue to us. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is my little one, Ethan. He's always curious about everything and asks hundreds of questions each day. We want to encourage his curiosity so we can explore and learn more about the world. So, we invited this cuddly little fuzzball into our lives. Meet Wubo, an incredibly smart robot powered by the most advanced interactive technology. Wubo is both playful and goofy and makes Ethan laugh all the time. A small team of graduates from MIT and Harvard curates exciting things about the world and shares them with Wubo. So Wubo is like a knowledgeable and kid-friendly search engine who not only answers questions but also inspires Ethan to explore more. Wubo creates an imaginary space to experience different possibilities, so Ethan can be anyone and work on anything. No wonder Ethan asked me so much about being a dragon trainer lately. Wubo always knows how to spend an independent and creative afternoon, so Ethan never runs out of fun activities to choose from. Sometimes Wubo helps take Ethan's fun ideas one step further and brings his imagination to life. Wubo is always a patient friend who helps Ethan to make and create new things. Sometimes when Ethan's friends come over, Wubo gets playful and invites everyone to get up and move around. Whether it's a whole afternoon playing charades or a completely new idea, Wubo always keeps up, like a fluffy partner in creativity. That's only the beginning of what Wubo has under all that fur. Like a launch pad for learning, Wubo has more than 40 different skill sets. And since Wubo is connected to the internet, his skills are always fresh and always growing. I can also set up daily routine reminders. So in an encouraging way, Wubo turns routines like brushing teeth and cleaning up into engaging challenges. And as Ethan starts practicing these routines on his own, he always has someone cheering him on. With Wubo, every morning is a blast and every bedtime is a breeze. And the stars were blinking at us. Why are the stars blinking at us? Hey, Wubo. Ah, I'm too sleepy. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good night, you two. Good night, Mom. Good night, Wubo. Thank you.
We want children to enjoy a different world combining science, math, and art. The future will be an all-encompassing world interconnected by artificial intelligence. That's why we present Tacklebot, the key to the future. Tacklebot is a stackable coding robot designed for children age four and up. Different function in Tacklebot is ready to play right after stacking. Tacklebot teaches kids to cope with screen-free coding and drag-and-drop coding. That's perfect for promoting critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Tacklebot was especially designed to minimize complication and maximize exploration and interaction. We are a team of designers, makers, and engineers, and our ambition is to provide the best STEM products to the children. Since 2015, we have successfully launched several projects in this market. Tacklebot is our newest product. It's taken us half a year and a lot of work to find this modular stackable structure. It's the best way to meet the children's needs. So, if you like our robot, please share this film on your social media. Together, we can provide our children an adventure into the future. Thank you for watching. People are the most creative when they are children, <laughs> but the tools they use to create have not changed for years. Hi, I'm Rustem, and this is the RoboCube, and it will change how our kids learn about technology. Introducing Robo Wunderkind. A revolutionary robotics kit for kids of all ages, which can be programmed and controlled with smartphones and tablets. Robo cubes can be attached from either side, so you can make different robots. Two years ago, I was studying computer science at the Vienna University of Technology, and I was building robots on Arduino platform. My friends were fascinated by what I was doing, and they also wanted to build their own robots, but as No fun and simple way for them to get started. This is why I decided to create a robot that would be easy to build that code and would be accessible for everyone. We are embedding different electronics, such as microcontrollers, sensors, motors, and even cameras into the cubes. This way, kids can easily build unique robots with different functions and in any shapes they can imagine. I think it's really important that uh, kids be introduced to technology at a very young age. And I think Robo is a really interesting platform for enabling these kinds of things. Uh, that sort of makes the robotics technology accessible. The biggest engineering challenge for our team was to create a connection system between the cubes. We've created a technology that will be easy to grasp even for a five-year-old child. And it works perfectly. Just attach the cubes, build the robot, and connect it to a tablet via Bluetooth. We've created an intuitive app that kids really love. You don't have to write any code to program the robot. Just drag and drop blocks in the app and press start. Teachers love the way kids learn by playing with the robot. That's why we've also developed a curriculum for teachers on how to use robot when they enter the classroom. Robo introduces the younger students to authentic 21st century skills and it targets an age group that sometimes doesn't really have that opportunity. Children learn by playing and experimenting and I can't think of a better thing to support than Robo where students are having fun but they are learning. With our amazing robotics kit, we are teaching children three key skills. Robotics, coding, and creative thinking. And there is one more thing. We've made an adapter that will make Robo Wunderkind compatible with your Legos. All of our backers on Kickstarter will receive these adapters so that you can bring your toys to a whole new level. We started working on Robo Wunderkind two years ago to make education in coding and robotics fun and simple. And now we need your help to start production. Support Robo on Kickstarter to make technology accessible for everyone and everywhere. Thank you. Our world has become pretty much digital, and coding is really 
the logic of thinking about digital things. It is absolutely essential that the kids that are born today think that coding is just the most natural thing to do. Root is really about programming intelligence. It's about programming the behavior of the robot. Coding is so unbelievably abstract from the get-go. It's an abstract language. It doesn't really have a relationship to the real world. It just doesn't matter enough at a young age. By putting robots in front of kids, it brings coding to life. The idea with Root is that we have a single robot that has a really interesting behavior. It can move on whiteboards and it can draw. But what makes it powerful is the different ways in which you can program it. A young kid understands consequences. If this, then this will happen. Now they get to program the consequences to their robot. They can think about what a machine is able to do. What did they tell the robot and how did the robot misinterpret what they said? That part of our brain that's analytical and that thinks about processes is the one that Root is trying to engage. And start with basic kinds of coding that has nothing to do with language and I can build up in sequence to more and more abstract coding. So that scaffolding is so powerful and it's not been done before. We have a vision to fill every classroom in the world with a robot. One of the unique things about Root is that the infrastructure already exists. The whiteboards are already in the classroom. The tablets and apps, that ecosystem is already in most schools. So with Root, really, the barrier to entry from a cost perspective is the cost of a textbook. What we're essentially doing is we're creating a robot that just works right out of the box, as simple to use as a tablet or app that the kids will love, that the teachers will love. Root is more than just one robot for one classroom. It's a platform that can reach any different grade level. We're talking kindergarten all the way up through college. By having different kinds of programming languages, you can really target the information processing that's possible at different stages. Not only just what excites them, but what makes a kid that age powerful. Root and that ecosystem has the chance to embed in it fundamental flexibility and adaptability such that you really could meet each kid where they're at and give them a kind of experience that gives them the best shot of falling in love with coding. We have the right robot hardware and the right robot software to be a disruptive technology in education. The more kids we have who grow up thinking, oh, I could code, that's not a problem. That's not what computer scientists do. That's what everybody does. That's where we want to arrive at.